everybody. Uh, this is Christine Patterson. I'm here with Hancock Parks and I decided to sit outside today on our first real snowy day because today we are going to learn about insects in winter. The book I have today is called Not a Buzz to be found. So I'm enjoying this wonderful winter. Let's go ahead and find out what our insects do to keep themselves warm and safe and dry. In summer, insects are all around, zipping, buzzing, zooming everywhere. But in winter, poof, they're all gone. Not a zip or a buzz or a zoom anywhere. But where do insects go when it's icy and cold? What do they do to survive? If you were a little insect, what would you do to stay alive? So where did those insects go? If you were a monarch butterfly, You'd take an amazing flight. You'd fly thousands of miles, migrating south where it doesn't freeze. There you'd join millions of monarchs all gathered around together in the tree. Boy, migrating sounds really good right about now. If you were a woolly, cater woolly bear caterpillar, you'd hide under a blanket of snow or leaves. Someday you'd turn into a moth with wings. But in the winter, you'd curl up and sleep and see, see the little caterpillar right there? If you were a ladybird beetle, you'd hide under the logs and leaves and huddle with thousands of others. I see them hiding. You'd barely move or breathe. But what if you were a honeybee? You'd eat the sweet honey in your hive and huddle with all the other bees. You'd all stay warm together each taking turn in the warmest spot, the center, waiting for springtime. If you were a morning cloak butterfly, you'd hide under the bark of a tree. You'd go into a deep, deep sleep, but you wouldn't freeze. Why not? You'd have something inside you like antifreeze. So they're hiding under the bark. But what if you're a praying mantis? Well, you'd still be inside your egg in a small egg case with hundreds of others waiting to hatch. All winter long, you'd stay snug and safe. And sometimes you can find those on the branches of bushes or trees. If you were a common poly, a pond hawk dragonfly, you'd be a baby nymph without wings. You'd look like a small water bug and you'd live in the pond all the way down in the mud. So when the pond is frozen, they would bury themselves down in the mud. If you were an ant in winter, you'd stay underground in your nest with the other ants in your colony. Safe from the cold, you'd all just rest. And sure enough, you don't see any ants around yet. If you were a gall fly in the winter, you'd still be a baby living in a gall. You'd chew a little opening to get out in the spring but all winter you'd stay in that small round ball. And you might have seen those goals, those little bumps that are on the side of the branches. But what if you were a field cricket? You'd still be a tiny egg that mother cricket laid. Here. All winter long you'd stay in the earth, safely hidden you'd wait and wait. But what if you were a bald-faced hornet queen? You'd crawl into a rotting log and hide. You'd stay fast asleep all winter with your baby eggs safe inside. And if you were a black swallowtail butterfly, you'd still be a caterpillar without wings. Inside your chrysalis, safely hidden, you'd sleep all winter just waiting for spring. And then slowly, slowly, the air grows warmer. And just as slowly, the days grow longer. And you'll feel a change in the air. And so do insects everywhere. Some wake up, some hatch, some fly north, some grow wings. It's time to zip and buzz and fly. Winter is over. 